Hello everyone, in this video I will be telling you everything you need to know about spider plants. Spider plants is one of my favorite plants. You will know after 2 minutes in this video why I love them so much. So a spider plant is a plant that loves bright indirect sunlight. They can't tolerate full sunlight, but if they're shaded and there is a bit of sun on them, now and then they're not going to complain a lot. But the best thing for them is bright indirect sunlight. And how is that? When you see the sky, but the sun is not directly touching you for a long period of time. The first special thing that these plants have is that the roots store water in them. So this plant can be dry for a good amount of time. Like don't worry about this plant getting dried out. And I will tell you when to water this plant in about a minute. As you're seeing right now, this plant is really strong because I can completely remove all of the dirt around it and spray soap on the leaves because these leaves had insects and I don't like insects and bug on my plants. So this is exactly what to do if this plant have insects or things like that. If you can't of course do this method without repotting. So the third thing I'm going to talk about is how to propagate this plant. You can propagate it by those pups that appear or by division. Like you can divide them when you're repotting them. So now I will be talking about the soil that this plant should live in. This plant is not picky about its soil at all. You can use normal dirt, but it's preferred to use peat moss and perlite. And I'm using some vermiculite. And I added just a spray of sand to help with the drainage. Because the number one enemy of this plant is root rot. This is why you need to make sure that the pot that you're using has drainage holes. This plant doesn't need to be in a big pot. And now I will be mixing the mix that I told you about. And this is how to repot the plant. First you add a layer of soil and then you add the plant. If you don't want to remove the soil like I did, you can absolutely do that. But make sure when you're repotting the plant that the soil that it's in is the same soil that you're going to be repotting it in. After adding this layer of soil, then I add the plant and then I cover the plant. I keep adding soil till the plant is completely covered I mean the roots of course so I told you that I love this plant earlier in the video the reason why I do is because this plant tell you when it needs water and I will show you how in seconds right now I'm adding some beautiful rocks on top you can use any type of rocks the reason for these rocks is when I'm watering the plant the water doesn't make a hole in the soil and they look great but don't overdo it this is how the plant looks when it's happy and watered. This is the same plant that I was doing everything in the video. And now this plant needs water. And this is how the plant tells me how it needs water. When the color goes plain. And remember to water this plant thoroughly and till it is dry and then water. Thank you for watching and I hope that you liked the video and subscribe and like for more.